In this video, I want to introduce you the matrix we all fall into when trying to build a happy relationship. It's the core theme of Ken Honda's book called The Millionaire's Philosophy for a Happy Life Part 3. Don't you have trouble getting along with someone at work or at school or in your family? You don't feel comfortable with that person or you simply don't like him or her. There are people that you can't get along with and try to keep a certain distance. But if that's someone you need to have daily communication like your boss or your colleague or your classmate, you have a problem. You don't want to but you have to talk with that person which makes you feel stress. But if you're watching this video, I guess you're already taking necessary actions to somehow have a good relationship with those people. For example, when someone has a cold attitude, do you try to actively talk to her? Or if you see a bossy person, don't you try to avoid making him frustrated by thinking and taking actions what he might want next? I think you guys have done something similar to this. But I assume that it's quite rare that your relationship with him or her drastically improved that way. People don't change easily. So the people who are cold are cold and who are bossy keep on being bossy no matter how much you try to improve the relationship with them. Have you ever thought about how you can fix that relationship and narrow down the root cause? If that's you, you might be missing the matrix of human relationship which I will explain in a minute. This video is a must see for those who are over 30 and leading a team. If you can't get along with others, there's no chance you can get support with them, right? Also for those who are struggling in private life, I'm pretty sure this will help you build a better relationship. We all know that humans are emotional creatures. Emotions have such a huge energy that can literally control your life. No joke. For example, if someone has emotions of anger and hatred, wouldn't their life be full of those negative emotions? If someone always has the emotions of love and joy and gratitude, wouldn't their life be wonderful? Emotions have the energy to change your life either way. But most of us don't know how to use our emotions properly. If only we knew how to get along with our emotions and other people's as well, life could be much easier. We can turn our life into whatever we want. Don't you agree? First off, we need to understand about emotions itself. There is no bad or good emotion. Emotions are neutral. We can use positive emotions like excitement and confidence to do a great job. We can also use our negative emotions correctly too. When you fail on an exam, you could turn your disappointment into gasoline and motivate you to try harder next time. Emotions are neutral and if we know the correct way how to use our emotions, we can live a better life. The next step is to understand the four types of human. Now I'm not saying every single person can be categorized into four types. Moreover, I believe nobody's the same and there are billions of types. However, the reason why I want to bring this up to you is because it's very important to understand how other people's emotions work. And by knowing this, you'll be able to control your emotions much better. I mean, let's face it, most of our problems and headaches come from human relationships, right? By knowing the four types and the principles behind it, your life will become much easier. Again, this matrix was introduced in Ken Honda's book called The Millionaire's Philosophy for a Happy Life Part 3. This chart is sort into two categories. People who think positive or not, and people who are independent or not. Understanding which type you are whenever having a one-on-one -on -one relationship with anyone is like a fast pass to build a good relationship. And I'm sure this will be a very handy tool in your life. Let me explain one by one. The first type is positive independent. These people are energetic, bright, have leadership and very active. They're not so good at understanding other people's feelings and sometimes annoying because they're always full of energy and force you to be the same. Business leaders tend to fall into this category. The second type is negative dependent. These people are sensitive, empathetic, and artistic. Good at finding what's going wrong and help people at the right timing. They tend to worry and think negatively or sometimes give up easily. Counselors fall into this category. The third type is negative independent. These people are perfectionists, love setting goals and strives to achieve it. Some are control freaks too. They think they're so talented and sometimes take high-handed attitudes. People in an administrative position fall into this category. Looks like I have a pattern to fall into this one. The fourth type is positive dependent. These people are those who can heal and relax people around them, cheer them up. Sometimes they might get bullied and their mind goes blank when doing mistakes. Peacemaking jobs like caregivers or teachers fall into this category. Everyone has a little bit of each of these four types. 
but the important thing here is to understand whenever we build a relationship with someone, we play the roles of one of these types. And the other person is always on the opposite side of the matrix. For example, if you're a positive independent type who is a leader, a follow me guy, you build a relationship with a negative dependent type who is sensitive, a good listener, and an empathetic person. If you're a negative independent type who is a perfectionist and a gold hunter who thinks you're the best, you build a relationship with a positive dependent type who can heal you and make you relax and cheer you up. This doesn't mean you always fit into the same type. You might have a pattern to often fit into one type, but depending on the person you're with, you automatically position yourself in one of these types. And the other person always plays the role of the opposite side of the matrix. Even if two positive independent types of strong leaders meet together, one of them plays the role of being the negative dependent. Interesting enough, you can see this not only in human relationships, but also in relationships between nations. America and Japan are a typical example of positive dependent and negative dependent. The relationship of an energetic leader and a sensitive follower, which I think you know which is which. Again, we all have all elements of all four types within us. We keep on playing a different role, dancing on the matrix, and that's why we get exhausted hanging around with people. Dancing with different types of people and playing the role makes you tired. It doesn't matter which type of role you're playing. There is no emotional peacefulness when you're playing this game. The energy and emotions are off balance and it's not a win-win situation. For example, when a negative independent perfectionist is criticizing a positive dependent relaxing person, nobody is happy with that kind of relationship and it's toxic. So is there no solution? Yes, there is. And that's moving close to the center. The center is the place where both can purely connect in peace. The place where you feel abundance and secure from the bottom of your heart. The question is, how do we reach the center? Well, regardless of which type of role you're playing, we all think we're right and the other person is wrong. If we all think we're always right, how in the world can we connect with each other? This is the root cause and the tragedy of human relationships. We need to find the middle ground, the center where we can understand each other. Let me give you some examples. When you see a person being positive dependent, it means you're on the opposite side of negative independent. You need to understand why the negative independent type is acting so nervous and worrying. The only way is to put yourself in their shoes and try to feel their emotions. If the person is a negative dependent type, think of why they want control. Why they want to know all the details. Are they afraid of failure? Is it because of the fear of losing their reputation? If the person is a positive independent, what is driving them to always take actions? What are they also afraid of when they don't keep on moving? If the person is a negative dependent type, try to feel their emotions. What they're going through emotionally. When you have the courage to dive into the center, that's where you feel deep connection. You can never feel fulfilled or happiness or secure when you're not in the center. The tip is to always be aware of which type of role you're playing in the matrix. And to be conscious of the opposite side. Try to feel the center and get close to it. Understand that you're not in the right place, neither is the other person as long as you're both dancing in the matrix. Again, the center is the only place where there's peace and balance. When you're playing the role of the four types, you're out of balance. Your emotions are biased. That's why you get tired and exhausted of human relationships. That's not the kind of state you want to be in if you want to live an ideal life. As long as you keep on dancing in the matrix, you're always controlled by emotions and can't see things around you. Focus on finding the center. And this doesn't only go with human relationships. Finding your center within you is crucial in life. The center is where your emotions are neutral, where you're not wasting your energy, where you don't get tired. The center is the state where you live your destiny, what you were meant to do, your calling. And the best thing an individual human can contribute to the world is do what they love, to find their mission in life and live that life. The excitement that is silent and calm, not what everyone else thinks is valuable.
but what you know what makes you truly happy and makes you forget about time. When you're in your center, you do what you love, without pain but with fulfillment. The more you do it, you get better at it. You start adding value to others and earn money, and eventually become a happy rich person. Focus on being in the center. Find your center and the center between you and other people. Always be aware of where you are in the matrix and think of the opposite side. The fear and pain and anxiety they have. The fear and pain you have as well. Once you understand this from a bird eye view, you can move yourself to the center where the energy is neutral and peaceful. If you like this video, the next video to watch is this. And if you're new here, hi, my name is Joey and this channel is all about self-development tips to change your mindset and change your life. So if this sounds good to you, please consider subscribing and hit that notification bell. And if you like this video, please also hit that like button and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.